The Magical Forest Adventure Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Lily who lived in a small village. One day, while wandering in the forest, she stumbled upon a hidden path that led her to a magical forest. It was filled with talking animals, colorful flowers, and sparkling streams. As she explored the forest, she met a wise old owl who offered to guide her through the enchanted land. Together they journeyed through the forest, meeting friendly creatures like rabbits, squirrels, and birds. They even came across a unicorn who allowed Lily to ride on its back. However, their adventure took a dangerous turn when they encountered an evil witch who lived in a dark and creepy corner of the forest. The witch had been stealing the magic from the forest, and everything was starting to wither away. Lily knew that she had to do something to save the magical forest. So with the help of her new animal friends, they set out to defeat the Wicked Witch. After many trials and tribulations, they finally managed to defeat her and return the magic to the forest. As a reward for her bravery, the magical forest granted Lily a special gift. She was granted the ability to speak to animals and a special connection with nature. From then on, Lily spent most of her days exploring the magical forest, and she always remembered the lessons she learned along the way, to be kind, brave, and always respect nature. And from that day forward, the magical forest never lost its sparkle again. The End The Magic Garden 2 Once upon a time in a far-off kingdom, there was a beautiful garden that was hidden away in the depths of a dense forest. Many people had heard of the garden, but no one knew where it was located. It was said that the garden was magical and that it was home to rare and exotic plants that held special powers. One day, a young girl named Lily stumbled upon the garden while exploring the forest. As she walked along the winding path, she noticed that all of the flowers were glowing with a brilliant light. Intrigued, she decided to explore further. As she made her way deeper into the garden, she came across a group of fairies who were tending to the flowers. They welcomed her warmly and showed her around, pointing out all of the different plants and their unique properties. Lily was amazed by the beauty of the garden and the kindness of the fairies. She asked if she could stay and help care for the plants, and the fairies gladly accepted her offer. For many months, Lily worked tirelessly alongside the fairies to tend to the garden. As she worked, she learned more and more about the magic that flowed through the plants. She discovered that some could heal the sick, while others could bring joy and happiness to those who were feeling down. One day, the kingdom was struck by a terrible plague. People were falling ill left and right, and no one knew how to stop it. But Lily remembered the healing powers of the plants in the magic garden. She gathered as many as she could carry and brought them back to the kingdom. With the help of the fairies, Lily used the plants to create a powerful potion that cured the sick and stopped the spread of the plague. The people of the kingdom were overjoyed and grateful to Lily and the fairies for their help. From that day forward, the magic garden became known throughout the kingdom as a place of wonder and healing. And Lily remained at the garden, continuing to learn the secrets of the plants and spreading their magic wherever she went. The Starlight Princess Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a beautiful princess named Lyra. She lived in a kingdom where the sky was always dark, and the stars shone brighter than anything else. Lyra was so enchanted by the stars that she would spend hours looking up at the night sky. One day, while out on a walk, Lyra stumbled upon a shooting star that had fallen to the ground. She picked it up and held it close to her chest, feeling its warmth and energy surging through her body. Suddenly, the shooting star transformed into a magical fairy, who introduced herself as Stella. Stella told Lyra that she was the starlight princess, chosen by the stars, to bring light and hope to the dark kingdom. Lyra was shocked, but also excited to take on such a responsibility. Stella gave her a magic wand that could conjure up the most beautiful and powerful starlight that anyone had ever seen. As Lyra began her journey to spread light and happiness throughout the kingdom, she encountered many obstacles. 
including a terrifying dragon that breathed fire and robbed the village of its light. But with her kind heart and powerful starlight, Lyra was able to defeat the dragon and restore light to the village. Lyra became known as the Starlight Princess. And people from all over the kingdom came to see her and experience her magic. She proved that one person can make a difference, and that even in the darkest times, there is always hope. Years later, when Lyra had grown old and passed on her magic wand to a new generation of Starlight Princesses, Stella visited her one last time. She told Lyra that her legacy would live on in the stars, and that every time someone looked up at the night sky, they would be reminded of the brave and selfless Starlight Princess who brought light to their world. And so, Lyra's story became a legend in the kingdom. Parents told their children of the Starlight Princess who brought hope to the darkest of times, and every night, they would look up at the sky and make a wish on a shooting star hoping to be blessed with some of Lyra's magic. The Beautiful Forest Once upon a time, there was a beautiful forest full of magic and mystery. The trees were taller than any that you have ever seen, and their branches twisted and turned in the most unusual ways. The leaves glistened like diamonds, and the flowers sparkled like rubies. It was a magical place where animals could talk and fairies would visit. In this forest lived a kind-hearted princess named Isabella. She loved to take walks through the enchanted forest and talk with the animals. One day, while walking, she came upon a tiny fairy who was crying. Dear fairy, what is wrong? asked Princess Isabella. The fairy replied. My wand has been stolen by an evil witch who lives in the deepest part of this forest. Without my wand, I cannot cast spells or fly, and I am lost. Princess Isabella was determined to help the fairy find her wand, so they set off on a journey deep into the heart of the forest. They encountered many challenges on their journey, but together they were able to overcome them all. Finally, they arrived at the witch's lair and quietly entered. The witch was busy casting spells, and they were able to sneak up on her undetected. Princess Isabella grabbed the wand and handed it back to the fairy. The grateful fairy granted Princess Isabella three wishes. Isabella wished for the animals in the forest to be protected and for the forest to remain enchanted forever. As for her last wish, she wished for the fairy to stay with her always so that she could continue to explore the forest and all its wonders. From that day on, the enchanted forest remained the same, and the animals and fairies lived happily ever after. And every once in a while, you can still see Princess Isabella and her fairy friend exploring the magical forest together. The Princess and the Firefly Forest Once upon a time, there was a kingdom called the Land of Stars where the king and queen ruled with wisdom and kindness. They had a daughter who was the most beautiful girl in the kingdom, and they named her Celestia. Celestia grew up to be a kind-hearted princess who cared for all the people and creatures in the kingdom. But one day, the kingdom was struck by a curse that turned everything dark and gloomy. The king and queen searched for a solution, but nothing seemed to work. One night, Celestia had a dream where she heard a voice telling her to go to the firefly forest and find the fireflies. She woke up and immediately set out on her journey to the forest. As she walked through the dark forest, Celestia heard strange noises and saw scary shadows moving around her. But she kept walking until she reached the heart of the forest. There she found the fireflies. The fireflies were tiny creatures that glowed with bright light. And they had the power to dispel the darkness that had taken over the kingdom. Celestia asked the fireflies for their help, and they agreed to accompany her back to the kingdom. As they journeyed back, Celestia and the fireflies faced many obstacles. They were chased by evil creatures and encountered treacherous paths, but the fireflies used their light to guide them safely back home. Finally, they reached the kingdom where the king and queen were waiting anxiously. Celestia and the fireflies got to work right away, and soon, the darkness lifted from the kingdom. The people rejoiced, and Celestia was hailed as a hero. From that day on, the Firefly Forest became a place of pilgrimage for people seeking hope and light in their lives.
and Celestia lived happily ever after. Knowing that with the help of friends and the courage to face obstacles, she had saved her kingdom.